Today, we're going to be looking at spy cams. We're, we're going to infiltrate my ultrasound. Tell me about these glasses. How do they work? Then? Wow! They're going to think you're a raver. That was terrifying. So I kick this journey off in style. <laughs> building since April. <laughs> hey, my name is Eddie Depitan. And I'm Linda Depitan. And, and we, we are, are the Adepa fam. What up, Adepa clan? What is that? How are you guys doing now? Last episode, if you called it, we tested out three different spy cameras. Basically, we've got a 20-week pregnancy scan coming up. I haven't been allowed to go to any of the previous pregnancy scans. So we thought, what's the best way to get me involved, to allow me to be a part of that whole experience? Yeah. Let's film it stealthily with yeah. some spy cameras. So you can't share it in the moment, but you can share it in the evening. Yeah, and also I just like the sneakiness about it. <laughs> Sneaky! <laughs> So we tested three spy cameras. We had the spy glasses, mm -hmm. the spy smiley badge, mm -hmm. and the spy pen. Mm -hmm. Now, the badge is in the bin. It <laughs> just wasn't very good. And the glasses and the pen, you you really like the glasses and I really like the pen. Well, I like the glasses because you look funny in the glasses. <laughs> you look funny in the glasses. But um, we decided to use both the spy glasses and the spy pen because there is just... I was pretty nervous about whether I was actually hitting record when I was hitting the button. Like, it goes completely black when you're recording. So it's not like there's a little red dot, which is great because you wouldn't want anyone to see a red dot if you're filming. But it's not so great if you want to know for sure that you haven't turned it off. <laughs> Basically, we took them both because we wanted some backup. Yes. You know, we wanted to make sure we got it. So um, keep watching to see the quality of our footage and see how good it is. Yeah, see how it turned out mm. and uh, find out whether we got caught. Stealth mode. Will they the catch us? They'll never catch us. <laughs> Let me put on my spy specs. And spying on you guys. What up? Spy. Enjoy. Spy. Enjoy. On our way to our 20 week scan. And we're running late, and Lindy feels pretty ill. She's not feeling well. And there's a really strong smell of fish and chips. I thought well, that would help you. You love fish and chips. <laughs> I'm sweating. Do you want me to put the air conditioning on high? Yeah. Okay. And our spy pen. Where was it, Lindy? In my pocket. Nah. We're almost there. If there was any other trip, I would get out and walk. In fact, I would get out and sit down and probably throw up. What, is it because we were moving and stuff and you were looking for stuff in your bag? Is that why? Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to get up to Scotland. I'm going to be okay, don't worry. Well, that was a bit dramatic. Uh, Linda's gone in for the 20-week scan. Um, the plan was we were going to have, like, a, a, a pen... Well, you know, the pen with the spy camera on it, so she could use that to film the scan, because um, I'm not allowed in. 
and uh, but we were running late she didn't couldn't remember where the uh, pen was then it ended up she had the pen in her shirt where she meant to put it um, so she'd hid it so discreetly that she couldn't even find it um, she gets motion sick so I think she was slightly panicking because we were running late so she started overheating almost threw up in the car um, and now she's rushed in there for the scan uh, hopefully things will go a lot better than what they are now um because yeah that was a little bit distressing fingers crossed today's when we find out whether it's a boy or a girl um and also check up to find out whether if there's any complications and make sure everything's running smoothly in the pregnancy so yeah it's always quite stressful All I can do now is just sit and wait. Sit and wait. I've messaged Lindy a couple of times, but she hasn't messaged back, and I hope that's just because, you know, she's, like, occupied by the scan, and she's in there, and, and um, everything's going fine, and it's not because she's, like, like, it's not because there's enough something wrong because she was feeling really really terrible when she went in but I think part of that was just nerves um, it's a new experience for us both so every feeling is strange every bump or sort of kick that she gets in her stomach anytime she feels sick anytime she feels like she's overheating it's all new to us and we're all kind of like constantly thinking what well, is there something wrong is there something wrong with the baby is there something wrong with linda so yeah it's um it's just one of those strange times but i'm sure people who've been through this before um will be familiar with how we're feeling right now where it's like a journey into the unknown i mean it's it's been done billions of times by the human race but uh for us it's our first. <laughs> She's on her way back. Um, she sounded like it was positive news. She seemed happy. Yo, yo, yo. She's got some serious face on. It's Guani. I just still feel sick. Oh. How did it go? Good. She was like, when I got there, she, they didn't, like, I said my name and you could tell, you could tell they were expecting me at reception. She didn't make any comment though. Sat there for a good, I don't know, a good five minutes, maybe 10. Mm -hmm. And then I got called through and the nurse was like, or the ultrasound scanner, she said, I don't know if we'll be able to do the whole scan because we've lost so much time. Shit. And I was like, You know what she she it's funny because she's so like was it the same woman as the last same time? woman yeah and was it her way of sort of telling you off yeah underhandedly exactly she's so strict and then at the and i i just like said oh it's been such a stressful morning blah 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 and i got on the bed and stuff and then at the end she was asking if it, if it had been a stressful morning because of the baby or something wrong or anything and i was like no no there's just stuff and then i got I got travel sick and stuff and and um she I was just like I didn't really want to tell her that I'd been feeling really sick because they're so so like her you can tell she's particularly yeah but you're feeling sick as in vomity sick not yeah as but in... you can get vomity sick with covid anyway I was just like you could tell that if I said I was feeling any type of way she'd have been like so out no scan exactly um so anyway but she got the full scan done and everything's fine. She said the baby's going fine. At first, she said that my placenta or, or my the baby or something was a bit low, and she said, and I was like, well, what does that mean? And she said that means it doesn't mean anything really for the pregnancy. It's just the labour. And then she like five minutes later, she looked a bit more and she said, scrap what I said. It's all fine. I'm like, okay. Um, I think you got a bit of chocolate on your lip, by the way. But she. I think it's actually just a bit of skin. But she um, said everything's got fine, fine, like she looked at every bit. It was quite like, 
it's nothing's been like that first scan where it was like flopping all about. Was it moving at all? Not really. Like it rolled over, but it generally, I, I think it doesn't like her. It's not really <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we need to go you know back what, to that Dad, other lady. I mean, she was nice enough. She was, she's she's just a little bit stern. You'll yeah. see it. Like, um, but did also, you film it? <laughs> How that, did the stealth go? I think so. Is the scan in there? Oh, I've got the picture. Yeah, I didn't think. The we'll, picture... we'll have a look when we. I, I didn't think the picture was all that good. What about the sex? Did they do the gender? The yeah, and um, and she says she's written it in the notes. So whether we can find it. <laughs> we got got a little surprise. Let's see. We have to decide how we want to find out if we just want to look for it and find it, or if we want to do something silly. I think we should we should do something. Maybe we should ask people to know it'll take too long to find out their answers. So we are not going to uh, do a gender reveal, but what we are going to do <laughs> is we're going to do some old wives tales. You know those things like I and mean, people say I know how to tell whether you're going to have a boy or a girl, or you're going to have twins, and you're going to have Let's one of the twins is going to be six foot tall, and the other one's going to be one foot tall. Uh, if you drink, if you drink a glass of water um, and you tap on the floor nine times, and water comes out your ear, you're going to have triplets. You know those type of things. I, d I don't think I've heard of that one. That is a proper old wife. I have heard about if you put a ring on a piece of string and you put it in the glass, and if it turns clockwise, it's something and if it turns anti-clockwise it's something else absolutely ridiculous one. some people swear by it mm. but if you have any ideas because we're not really clued up on our old wives tales drop them in the comments below and we will try and include them in a video about that yeah tell us see if you can guess what kid we've got and make sure <laughs> well what what sex it is or what gender it is i mean or whose kid is what, what bits it's got yeah that, yeah <laughs> All of the above. If you want to see that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on so that you hear when we drop that video. Yeah, we better stop before we get kicked off YouTube, you know. <laughs> I, I do feel like maybe I saw a penis, but <laughs> it was really big. <laughs> so I think I've got to be wrong. It must have been like a leg. That was his foot or his leg. It was, that pretty, it was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely not well. I, I don't know. Uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get me McDonald's. Right, let's go and get some get some food. Get you some air and get you some food. We've got to think of somewhere to stop. Maybe we'll stop on the first service station on the way. <laughs> let's just get going. Let's get to Scarland. Cause they don't bring you back I don't want to 